From a speeding Blue Angel in Florida that ripped up these beachgoers' tents, and a Navy exercise in South Korea that looked like a scene out of a movie, to a vintage World War II plane that crash-landed during an air show in South Florida, and a hot air balloon ride in California that didn't go according to plan. Here are 10 shocking beach moments caught on camera. It was mid-April of 2021. Folks in southeastern Florida were gearing up for the Cocoa Beach Air Show. It's an annual event held every spring near the Patrick Space Force Base in Brevard County, Florida. The 2021 show was off to a hot start until this vintage World War II plane began flying a little too low. Sunbathers on Cocoa Beach thought it was all part of the show. Then the plane kept getting lower and lower and lower. Yeah, that's what I said. I don't think he was doing it on purpose. Well, I got that on Snapchat. Did you see me run out of the water? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Luckily, the pilot kept the plane up long enough to find an empty patch of water. Nobody was swimming nearby when he finally crashed. He was able to climb out and even declined medical treatment once he came ashore. His plane was a vintage TBM Avenger, a torpedo bomber used by the U.S. during World War II. It had undergone extensive restoration before returning to the sky in 2020. According to the pilot, there was a mechanical issue and the plane began losing altitude. His only choices were to crash on the crowded beach or in the water. The latter seemed safer. The rest of the air show went off without a hitch. Meanwhile, cranes had to haul the vintage bomber out of the ocean and drive it back to the Space Force base by truck. They planned to keep it in a museum from now on. Sochi is a resort city in southwestern Russia. Despite hosting one of the most scandalous Olympic Games in history, it remains a popular tourist destination. Its location on the Black Sea makes it the perfect summer getaway assuming a rogue water spout doesn't ruin your day at the beach. On July 22nd of 2022, Sochi beachgoers watched as a massive water spout formed over the ocean. While most water spouts are on the weaker side, this one had a bone to pick with a beachfront dock and cafe. Most water spouts are considered non-tornadic or fair weather storms. It means they don't have the rotating updraft associated with powerful thunderstorms and tornadoes. As a result, they rarely exceed EF0 strength on the enhanced Fujita scale. They normally form over warm coastal waters like the Black Sea or the Gulf of Mexico. Thankfully, this storm only damaged the dock and cafe. Everybody was smart enough to record from a safe distance. Eric Barreto had been planning his proposal for months. He arranged for him and his girlfriend to fly in a hot air balloon over the gorgeous San Diego coast. The date was set for October 9th of 2014. The romantic evening began as he expected. They went up with a pilot and enjoyed the scenic views. Then Eric dropped to one knee and asked her to marry him. She said yes, and then it was all downhill from there. The wind suddenly changed direction, blowing their balloon off course. They struggled to gain altitude and were getting dangerously low to the water, which was full of surfers at the time. 
To make matters worse, the pilot was running out of fuel, and one of them couldn't swim. Thankfully, the surfers in the water came to their rescue. Oh boy, gas it, dude. Dude, he needs help. Someone else needs to grab that rope. The pilot found himself between a rock and a hard place. He didn't have enough fuel to take them up and land safely somewhere else. They could wind up deflated over the open ocean. However, that 500-pound balloon could easily deflate and injure all the surfers in the water. Luckily, lifeguards on jet skis and surfboards were able to rescue the newly engaged couple. They're bringing them in. Everyone cheered when the whole ordeal was finally over. Nobody got hurt, and Eric's wife got one of the best how did he propose stories of all time. Still, I bet neither of them will be getting in a hot air balloon anytime soon. Maho Beach might just be the most interesting beach in the world. Located on the Dutch side of St. Martin Island and the Caribbean, it sits behind Princess Juliana International Airport. Incoming planes look like they're going to crash into the beachhead. Meanwhile, outgoing planes can easily blow you into the water. There's no shortage of footage coming from Maho Beach. People love to film the jet blasts and the daredevils who think they can hold on to the fence. Those who wisely remain on the beach have to dig their feet in and hope the planes don't push them into the ocean. Imagine going to this beach with no prior knowledge. You're sitting there enjoying a sandwich. Then, the next thing you know, a massive sand wave is washing over you. Your towel ends up in the water, and your entire day is ruined. Plane spotting is so popular at Maho that nearby restaurants and beach bars display arrival and departure times. During their final approach, planes pass less than 100 feet above the beach. Of course, there are signs all over the place warning how dangerous it is. The beach knows why people come, it just has to cover all of its liability bases. As you probably guessed, Maho isn't the most relaxing beach on Earth. There's nothing like the crack of a fighter pilot breaking the sound barrier. To do this, they have to top speeds over 750 miles per hour. As they travel, fighter jets create air pressure waves in the sky. It's similar to the waves created by a ship's bow. When they break the sound barrier, those waves combine until the pressure breaks. Beachgoers in Pensacola, Florida heard what that sounds like in 2016. The cone around the jet is not the broken sound barrier. Scientists aren't totally sure what that is, but the leading theory is condensation. Water droplets get trapped between two high-pressure points of air coming off the aircraft. In humid climates, like Florida, condensation can be seen between the invisible sound waves. A similar scene occurred at the 2015 Pensacola Beach Air Show. This time, a pair of blue angels gave the crowd more than they bargained for. They were like two magicians performing a classic misdirection routine. <laughs> 
Everyone was so focused on the first plane that they never saw the second one coming. A little warning would have made this stunt safer. It's funny to watch all those tents go flying, but someone could have gotten seriously hurt. It's unclear if the pilot meant to fly so low. As far as we can tell, everyone appreciated that stunt. Pohang is a coastal city in Gyeongsang province, South Korea. It's home to about half a million people and is the frequent site of joint exercises between the U.S. and South Korean Navy. On March 31st of 2014, one of those exercises was on full display. Aerial footage shows a combined force embarking from ships in the ocean and expertly navigating toward the beachhead. The small boats you see are actually amphibious vehicles that convert to tanks upon landing. You'll see what we mean as the clip rolls on. Thousands of servicemen and women between both countries and other allies will participate in these drills. They were a routine sight in Pohang until 2018, when U.S. and South Korean leadership decided to scale back to ease tensions with North Korea. That didn't work, as North Korea continued doing North Korea-like things. South Korean President Yoon Suk-yeol vowed to restart the exercises as North Korea kept launching illegal missiles into their airspace. As of 2023, these amphibious exercises are back in full swing. Hopefully, we never need them. Now, most people think soft sand and warm water when they picture Florida beaches. Giant bolts of lightning don't normally pop into their heads. In August of 2007, a local man stood out on his balcony to record a passing thunderstorm. The sky lit up with bolts of lightning. Then. One landed right in front of him. Oh my God. Now I'm taping from inside. This is really stupid. I should close this door. Just listen to how loud this lightning is when it strikes. It looks like it lands right where the waves are crashing. The sight and sound force our cameraman back inside. Even he knows he shouldn't keep standing there. According to the National Weather Service, lightning can superheat the air around it to 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's five times hotter than the surface of the sun. Cape Town is the oldest city in South Africa. It's the legislative capital, the seat of parliament, and the second largest city behind Johannesburg. It's a trendy tourist destination, with the New York Times calling it the best place to visit in 2016. But tourism was on the way down in the summer of 2020. COVID-19 kept most people away or inside, but that didn't stop some locals from frolicking in a rare weather phenomenon. A massive torrent of sea foam washed over the coastal areas. The once bustling city looked more like a giant bubble bath. Grown men immediately turned into playful school children. One of our frolicking friends described the experience as the best bubble bath ever. The warm foam felt quite nice as the temperatures dropped in mid-July. You see, June, July, and August are actually considered winter in South Africa. According to reports, gale force winds caused all that foam to form and wash ashore. Waves as tall as 33 feet carried it over the sea walls and onto the streets. While it looked like fun and games, there was some flooding and several uprooted trees. Thankfully, these South Africans made the most of it, especially during those dreary early pandemic days.
New Smyrna Beach is a coastal city in Volusia County, Florida, about 15 miles south of Daytona. It's home to about 30,000 people who love nothing more than a warm Florida day on the beach. Most of them like to lie down, others like to drive. Driving on the beach is a long-standing tradition in Daytona, St. Augustine, and New Smyrna. However, when the tide comes in, the beach is closed to traffic for everyone's safety. But the high tide wasn't going to stop 49-year-old Jason Bruskovich. Do not enter signs meant nothing to him. He wanted to take his truck out for a spin. Driving it into the ocean, however, was a questionable choice. It wasn't hard for police to spot Jason when they arrived. He was the only one dumb enough to drive his truck into high tide. They sat him down on the shore and explained the situation. For a guy who was about to get arrested, Jason was in high spirits. Yes, Jason, you can and will get in trouble for that. He was arrested and charged with disobeying the do not enter sign and failing to pay the beach entrance fee. His truck was towed and his bail was set at $200. In the end, his high tide joyride cost him a couple hundred bucks in tow fees and bail money. Hopefully it was worth it. By the smile on his face, we think it was. Lauderdale-by-the-Sea is a small town in Broward County, Florida. Let's just call it LBTS for short. Like basically the rest of coastal Florida, LBTS is known for its picturesque beaches, warm water, and soft white sand. But on October 22nd of 2022, a casual fall day at the beach was ruined when a water spout moved onto land. Luckily, one woman happened to be there the moment it all began. While this twister wasn't strong enough to hurt anyone directly, the wind did pick up loose objects and send them through the air. While water spouts are far less dangerous than the actual tornadoes you'd find in the Midwest, it's best to avoid them if possible. The wind can still damage your boat or even throw an umbrella at you. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.